So firstly, how disappointing was that game on Tuesday night for you, or the results at least? It, yeah, it was a disappointing night, there's no getting away from it. Um, we set our stall out as normal and, and really, you know, we really wanted to have another win under our belts, but um, uh, we were under par, there's no doubt about it, and, and Boston deserved the win. But a blip rather than anything to get too concerned about? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And I think um, we've had a, a cracking run, um, but too many big players were under par on the night. Um, you know, the intent was there, and it, it wasn't that people didn't put in their. their the work rate, it was just that we didn't execute the plan as we normally do and uh, they've got a lot of credibility in the bank of the set of players so we don't don't beat them with a stick, I think that's counterproductive, I think we just go, okay, we're all a bit emotional after the game um, and we weren't too happy with the performance but um, you know, we'll be back on it on Saturday, we're looking forward to uh, um, a good game at Bradford now. So having reviewed that game, is there anything in particular that you've been working on ahead of the game against Bradford Park, haven't you? Well, we, we stood to the bounce of the day off yesterday so we can get away from it, enjoy a bit of uh, family time and now. And, and, and they've just been in and Paul Thurl was putting a great training session where lots of goals have been flying in, they've been enjoying the football again, the sun's been shining, which is a bonus. Um, so just to get them lively again, you know, and we um, will come into tomorrow and prepare for Bradford, talk through Bradford um, and what promises to be another tough game. They're going into that one as well, Bradford Park Avenue, on the back of that win against Brackley. So they're going kind to of fancy the chances, aren't they? Yeah, certainly. Um, they're, they're a tough team, tough nut to crack. They've actually, I think, the only team in the league who've done the double over Brackley, and that's, that's saying something because um, we know just how tough Brackley are as a team. Um, they've got good players throughout the team, must be one of their most experienced lineups um, at this level. And you've got to give credit to Danny Bosch and Mark Bauer, the management duo, because They've done a great job at guys in and now doing the same at Bradford. And like a couple of other clubs, they've still got a slim chance as well of the playoffs. So both of you are still with plenty to go for. That's right, and a local derby to boot. So it should be it should be a good crowd, and we're expecting another good away following. And we hope that they get behind the lads just as they did the other night. They gave us a great reception as we walked off, and we were very grateful for that. Chances now of finishing top, obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder. Salford have got to slip up twice. You've got to pick up three points in both your remaining games. So has your focus shifted at all for the last couple of matches? Well, interestingly enough, we had the debate on the long journey back through all those diversions back from Lincolnshire the other night. Um, but I think we, we settled on, we, we can't, until it's mathematically impossible to win the league, uh, we can't mess with it too much. I do think we've got a strong squad, so there may be two or three changes because people may need a rest or or the, the team need freshening up. But it's um, not to tamper with it for um, for change's sake. Um, we're expecting a tough game. We want to win the game, and we want to uh, we want Boston to win the game as well.